You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. Why even have a door then? Hello? Come, we will find another way in. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. This way. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it? Difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of twenty frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was... a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say... Madurin Sam Gengur. Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny 
beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Look here. Another. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? Inside. Of course. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. 